Good morning, this is January 3rd, 2019, and here's uh, a video I made last night that just has to do with the current situation and especially kind of what's happening on the earth. Uh, the Besides the visible things going on, there's a lot that goes on invisible. Most of the negative ETs can be and usually are invisible to most people. And of course, then there's the invisible ones who have no no possible physical body, which is the, if you want to say, the demons and the fallen angels and things. So, uh, I made this. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I get into the angels who are living here on the earth, incarnated as humans now, which you might find interesting. So, uh, I know some of this is boring watching a pendulum move, but stay tuned. You might learn something interesting. Okay? Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Stay in touch, and uh, I hope to be putting out more videos with some of my more interesting stories of things that have happened to me in the last uh, five years now, since December 23rd, 2012, when a very loud voice woke me up from a deep sleep and started me on this crazy roller coaster ride that is uh, this process of ascension for planet Earth. Okay, well, here it is. Thank you. Hello, this is January 2nd, 2019. And a couple of days ago, as I am sometimes do, I was just thinking about different things. And as you may realize, I have come to understand that everything is energy. And in this, if you want to call it this final battle for planet Earth which it actually is in most likelihood in these upcoming few years, everything is energy also. And I've learned that I can work with energy with the pendulum. I can send energy and I can take away energy. And one of the main and probably the greatest, if you want to say, advantage that uh, these forces of darkness have over people is they are usually invisible. It's very hard to fight an invisible opponent. Also, they can appear, they can take on human forms and things like that. Some people, such as myself, can perceive that, but the vast majority of people would not be able to do that. I do it with a pendulum, as you have maybe seen in some of my videos. So I had the idea, if their uh, advantage is that they're invisible, okay, I've connect, I'm connect, in the process of connecting with all the powers of darkness, this seems like a far out petition, a request. But I connect with all the powers of darkness. When it stops and turns a little bit to the left, I have that connection. Okay. I have a connection with all the powers of darkness, okay? I want to ask if I take away their, in this guy say your, because I actually have a connection with them, your. In what percent can I remove their invisibility? I, I don't expect to be 100%. I expect to probably cause it to have occasional failures, which a few of those failures would be enough to possibly turn the tables against them. So the pendulum is now going to side to side, which is waiting for me to say or think the uh, possible multiple choice answers to this question. And in this case, it's in a percent. So it's very simple. What percent of their invisib power of invisibility can, can I actually take away with the pendulum? 5%, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. When it's a perfect circle is the answer. 45, 46, 47. It's very close. 47, 48. And it's going to slow down and stop at 48. Okay, so it appears to be 47. If I think 47, it starts turning again. Okay, so I can take away 47% of their power or ability to be invisible. I imagine, as I say, that that would cause it uh, to, to, at least occasionally, if not quite pretty often, have failures in that, or be harder to do, slower to operate, or something like glitches in their system. Okay, this is 47%. So I'm going to do that now. 
I'm going to send to take away their ability, the energy that they use to become invisible. And I'm going to check my clock right here. Let's see, my watch says it is now 7.27 p.m. 7.27 p.m. on January 2nd, 2019. 7.27. I'm going to stop this because this may take quite a while. I'm going to stop this and I'll come back with to see how long it, it took. And then we'll ask how much of their uh, ability or energy of transformation into invisibility, etc. That big advantage that they at least think that they have over humans, how much of that is left? We'll ask that question and see how close it came out to this prediction of the pendulum. Okay, thank you. I'll be back whenever, however long it takes. Thank you. Okay, it has now been about 10 minutes into this taking away the energy of invisibility from the powers of darkness. People accuse me of moving my hand. Well, right now I'm putting my hand on my camera, on the telephone, and see the thing is still spinning. I'm not moving it. I, it, it might move a tiny bit more when I have it out, uh, not touching anything. I don't say that, but it continues spinning even when it's touching the camera here. I'm not moving it. If I were moving it, you'd see more movement down by my feet, right? This is taking away, and it it looks like it's going a little smaller circles. So it's getting close to stopping, which is good. However, I always, uh, almost always do this in four stages. This is only the first stage. See, it's, it's winding down, as they would say. This is the first stage of taking away the ability to become invisible from the, those in the, of the darkness. Okay, so I'll continue with the other, when this stops, then I'll continue with the other three phases. And then I'll see if I can send some kind of uh, positive energy, like maybe angelic help, to help take that away. I'll see if there's something positive I can do, and then we'll see what the final result appears to be. Okay, that last recording was almost a false alarm, basically. It actually kept on going and got stronger, and now it has been about 18 and something minutes. And now it finally appears like it's going to stop with this first phase. In about 18, uh, it'll be 19 minutes before it stops here. 19 minutes, taking away that first phase. There, it stopped, right? It's definitely stopped. I said, you're going to take away the same thing. It doesn't move. So it stopped rotating. Okay. Now I send to take that away. That was like in a general extent. This is taking that same power of in invisibility away from them as much as possible, of course to the deepest part of their souls and it's going to start again so I'm going to stop the video again and uh, then later we'll come back however so that uh, you all know that I'm crazy or that something very special is going on uh, you know why do I think I can do this weird stuff I've had many experiences and I see it, it, it does this odd swinging it's not rotating but it starts out swinging and then later it will change to the rotating motion. This is taking away. Here I put my hand up on the telephone at the top. So you see it continues the same swinging motion. See if I can put a piece of my hand there. So you see I actually have my hand here. See the swinging motion? That's what it does. Okay. I've done so many hundreds of hours of this probably that I'm, I know what it does pretty well. Okay. So. Believe it or not, there are a lot of volunteers here on the Earth, and I happen to be one of them. I'm not saying that I am so special, because there are lots of us. However, uh, my aunt's wife channels, in other words, she can... Uh, usually when she's in the position where somebody's asking a question or something, some people get together that need a message, she spontaneously channels messages, sometimes from their ancestors, and sometimes from angels and other beings that we don't even not even sure who they are sometimes so i was telling her about some of my very strange if you want to say adventures with the pendulum and she started channeling a message for me and she said in spanish usted viene de muy alto 
You come from very high. Has hecho mucho, pero vas a hacer más. You have done a lot, but you're going to do more. And then it was her again, and she said, No sé quién fue eso. She said, I don't know who that was. <laughs> that was a message for me. So there are a lot of us that come from very high here in this time, if you want to say this final battle for planet Earth. Uh, there are indications that we have somewhere around 10 years. Oops, I, I hit my arm with it there. That really messed up this swinging. It swung enough to hit my arm. Anyway. So, um, I met a girl yesterday who's had uh, experiences with ET abductions. The last She's about 30 years old, and the last one happened about 16 months ago. It's evidently been all her life. And there appear to be traumatic for her. I hope we can stay in touch and find out more about this. But I told her some of my stories. And, uh, and so I, I did something that I learned to do, is I connected with her... 40 years ago, that is 10 years before she was born on the earth here. And her energy age was 2,323. Humans die at 100. Uh, these reptilians, a lot of them are now are 888s. Uh, the Antichrist was 666. And the pendulum just gives me these numbers. I didn't know they were going to come out. <laughs> I thought, okay, we all die at 100, uh, you know. They might be a hundred and something if they're dead, but no, these uh, these higher numbers actually indicate some kind of an energy level that uh, helps me to identify them. Okay, so anyway, she was a two thousand three hundred twenty-three, and that happens to be the same level as Satan. Satan was the first one I tested, the first two thousand three hundred twenty-three that came out. But I later learned that's not only the fallen angels, but also the good angels. So, uh, I have uh, at least two or three friends with, that before they were born here, that was their energy age. And I have done that test on myself, and that was my energy age too. Basically, there are probably thousands, if not millions, of angels on the earth here to help. Which gives me a very positive outlook for the future. And if, if, if a weirdo, nobody like me, can be an angel incarnate on the earth... There's got to be other ones. <laughs> and if you think I'm doing this to be famous, forget it. I don't give a damn what people think of me. I'm not making a penny. You notice there's no advertisements on these videos. I'm not making a penny off of any of this. I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it for fame because, believe me, I'm not getting famous. I'm making enemies. So, um, and actually putting my life in danger. But... That's all part of our mission here. So, yes, there are angels on the earth. Thousands and thousands of them at least. And they're here to help. We are here to help. So, if you've got this far, listen to this and see, wow, see this, See how this is spinning? I'll put it touching the phone up here again. There you can see it's touching the phone, keeps it, it keeps on spinning. This is taking away their power of invisibility to the deepest part of their souls. Okay, I'll shut up and come back when I'm done with this. And uh, I, I'll just go ahead and finish the other, all, this is the second stage. I'll finish the other, this and the, th the other two stages and then come back and see if there's some kind of a positive energy. Uh, I can sure at least send angelic protection to block, to help block them getting those powers back, which is what they will try to do, of course. So. And all this stuff of dealing with, with all these demons and all that stuff. A lot of it just common sense type stuff, okay? You take something away from them, they're going to try to get it back. They're like spoiled brats, right? <laughs> yeah, they are spoiled brats. Anyway, but they spoiled themselves, so they're going to have to pay the consequences, we hope. That's the story for now. I'll be back in a few minutes, or, or however long it takes. Okay, I'm finished taking away their ability to be invisible. Speaking of invisible, here comes a visible millipede. They like to get in my cabin here. Okay, uh, and because I had an interruption, it took close to an hour, but I'll ask the pendulum how long it took to do that, because the pendulum has a better memory than me. 10 minutes, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 minutes... 
53, 54, 55, 56 minutes. 57 minutes and it's going to stop. 50, it took 56 minutes to take away their ability to be invisible as much as I could, okay? Now, how much of that ability is left? Remember it said I could take it down to 4... Let's see. Now I can't remember if I could take away or take it down to 47%. Let's see how much, how much is left. No, how much I can take away. I think it was take away. How much can I take away? 10%. How much have I taken away? 10, 20, 30%. That's good. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have taken away 47%. Let's say 48%. And it's going to gradually stop. So it's 47 something, probably close to 47.5%. Okay, this is 48. If I think 47, 47%, see it's going to continue spinning and gradually spin back up. 40. I have taken away 47% of that ability. Now, I'm not positive what will happen, of course. And I'm just going to leave that up and we'll see if there's any indication of of any of this happening, whether just things just get harder there for them to do, whether people are actually going to see them <laughs> becoming visible when they think they're invisible, or who knows what. Uh, we'll see. I know this sounds all strange, but okay. Now, is there anything more I need to do here? I'm asking the question. It's saying basically no, but can I send positive energy as a protection for them to not get, not be able to get that back, and saying yes. <clears throat> so I'm going to send this positive energy as a protection, like a barrier for them to keep, for them to be able to get that visi invisibility back. Of course, as as we indicated here, they still have uh, fifty, a little over fifty percent of their visibility, so they can still be vis invisible but maybe not to all people maybe for shorter periods maybe not in all situations maybe sometimes they'll lose it maybe they'll show up on cameras i don't know and i'll just leave that and we'll see okay anyway i'm sending this positive energy this is angelic protection or a guard to keep them from getting that invisibility that we have taken away back Okay, so another rather odd day in the life of somebody who's trying to do uh, <laughs> what these abilities that have been given to me, obviously have been given to me and to some other people, uh, to be used. So I'm just simply trying to use them. And sometimes they invent these strange projects like taking away invisibility. Now I'm sure I'll come up with some more. If you have listened all this time, thank you very much. Maybe you understand a little bit more better what is going on. The fact that there are angels here incarnate on the earth. Lots of them, I would say. And uh, anyway, as I say, this is important, very interesting and important times we're in. I hope you uh, continue to see my videos to keep yourself educated. I hope to be putting up more videos. I would like to have the goal of putting up one short video a week. Uh, there's so many things I haven't haven't taken the time to share. Just last week I communicated with a friend who died a couple months ago. And it was basically amazing hearing him speak of what it is like, his situation now. He says he's, uh, it's, uh, he's in ecstasy. Uh, he's everything and nothing. He's on the, the best vacation he's ever had in his life. Um, he says he's waiting for me. And uh, anyway, I don't plan to go anytime soon, but it's nice to know he'll be there. Okay. And so many other experiences we've had. Uh, I, I should get into my, my directly, you know, openly, my experience with the reptilians and some of these other negative beings and what the whole situation is with them because they are the ones who are trying to conquer the earth 
they basically have it controlled. They've controlled it for thousands of years, but now they're getting to the point they want to conquer and enslave rather than just uh, in a hidden, hidden, invisible way, but on a actual visible suffering way, they want to enslave humanity. So we want to stop that. That's our purpose. I have been told that our purpose is to save the universe from evil. That sounds pretty serious. And, uh, and it is. So thanks for your patience till now. Stay tuned and we'll have more information in the future. Thank you. I wanted to add in one little story. Uh, there's this weird woman here in Costa Rica. I can't remember how I heard of her or I don't think I actually met her. But somehow somebody said she was really weird. Uh, somehow she contacted me or something and I didn't... Whatever. I can't remember that. But I remember I mentioned her to a friend of mine who used to live down on the Osa Peninsula. And she said, oh, that woman. She came to our place one time and wanted to stay the night. And when we were in our bedroom, she came in and was wandering around our bedroom. And she was totally surprised that we saw her. She clearly thought that she was invisible but we saw her and, and I kicked her and my friend said I kicked her out of the house that was, that was really weird okay that is an example of these invisible people or whatever they are not having not always having total control of their visibility in this case she thought she was invisible but she wasn't so uh, maybe maybe this video will just be the little push in that same direction so that they have more and more glitches in their operating system of in invisibility. That might be the case. So I don't know, but that's an example of somebody who evidently, according to my friend, she just was totally shocked that they could see her. So she clearly thought she was invisible. There are some weird people walking around. A lot of these are reptilians. Uh, if I were to connect with her at that exact time, which I can do, let me see if she was a reptilian. I, I have this ability to connect to anybody anywhere, basically, just by knowing, you know, something to define who they are. In this case, I'm going to connect to that woman that my friend uh, was telling me about. Okay, I connect to her at that time. Okay, when it stops, I have the connection. It's stopped. Okay. What is her energy age? Which, as you can see, if they're above 100, they're not totally human. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. It's getting very near close. A circle, 700, 800. She's going to be an 888. Here is 888. Or a uh, white reptilian, uh, as I end up calling them. They think they're the royalty. 888 and if I think 889 it slows down and is going to stop she was an 888 and she probably still is so in a little while I'm gonna I'm gonna connect with her and take away her energy so that after when I do that uh, let me show you her chakras at that time anyway she's probably still the same but just in case somebody has unreptilianated here Okay, her, her first chakra, Oops, let me put it up here, this is backwards. Her first chakra is, is strongly backwards. Her second chakra, also strongly backwards. These are definite signs of a, my wife doesn't like the word a possessed, she, I, so I have to say a reptilian controlled person. Here's her third chakra, now watch her fourth chakra. Fourth nothing fifth sixth seventh eighth nothing I read after I found this I read somewhere that the reptilians can only control the lower chakras because the energy of the upper chakras are too high for them so that is a reptilian I don't know what you call I don't know, I'll just call her a reptilian okay that's an example and that's the example of this ability that uh, the pendulum says that have that can do what I do it says there are about 15,000 of us on the earth. But most of most of you, because you may be one, don't know it yet. It's time you investigate. 
If you have any any doubts, you can contact me. Okay, thank you.